There are several reasons why Pro Tools may not play back the way that you would expect. I have set up in this session what I would consider the most unexpected playback behavior in Pro Tools. You can see if I move the cursor here towards the beginning and hit spacebar to play, not only does it not play right away, but when it does play, you'll see it, it plays somewhere in the middle of the song, totally where I didn't intend it to play. The first thing to check in this scenario would be to look at your transport. So go up to Window, go to Transport, and we're going to expand the transport so that we can see our MIDI control section. And we're going to see if our count off setting is on. In this case, it is on. And um, the reason why we're not hearing a metronome during the count off is because our click is muted. So if I unmute the click and I hit play, you'll now hear the click track, but maybe we don't want the count off. So we can easily turn it off here. But before I do that, I want to show you that if you double click on two bars, there is a setting that you can tell the count off to only count off during recording. And in this case, we had it count off even during playback, which made it really frustrating. So we'll say OK to that menu, and we'll turn off count off. So now let's see what we've got. So now you can see it plays right away, but it's not playing where our cursor is. Now to change that setting, you'll want to come up to this button up at the top called the Link Timeline and Edit Selection button and you'll want to turn that on. And what that does is that makes it so now whatever your selection is is also what the playback is going to be in Pro Tools. So now you can see that we've got it playing back the way that we would expect. However, you could still be having the playback in an unusual place. For example, if I play back now, you'll see it always plays back earlier. And that's because we have pre-roll turned on. And that's indicated by this orange flag up here at the top. So again, if we go to our transport window, you can see we can also, we can toggle the pre-roll and post-roll off by pressing those buttons. And it's also Command-K on a Mac or Control-K to toggle pre-roll and post-roll on and off. Now, you may have it so that you want it to stop wherever you stop the playback and start again from where you left off. And that is found right up here on this button that's called Insertion Follows Playback. If that is on, then whenever I, whenever I stop, you can see it continues from where I left off. If that is off, it'll always rewind back to where I had previously played or where my selection is at. One last thing to note is there's also an option known as dynamic transport. And if you are in this mode, the playback will happen wherever the blue triangle is at. So even if the blue triangle is within the selection, you can see that it'll play back within the selection. I hope that helps. Thanks.